Hi, humans and gentle humans. Go! Go, go, go! Go! Let my dogs out. Are you making spaghetti right now? Because I'm hungry. I didn't eat well yesterday. So, I'm really, really hungry. And I need some spaghetti. Woof! Woof! And then I'm gonna do some geometry. That's not fun. Am I in high school? No. Ooh. She accidentally, oh, okay, okay. She accidentally bit me earlier because she thought I was a dog taking her food. So she keeps looking at me with puppy dog eyes because I think she feels bad. Wait, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> she doesn't feel bad. Wants to do it again, in fact. I take back everything I just said. I thought you felt bad, you little monster. My hair is a disaster because earlier I thought I would try to steam it because I saw a video of a girl steaming her hair. And her hair looked kind of like mine, how it's like straight but not. Um, so anyway, I tried to steam it and I, you probably can't see it, I'll put it in a picture. I dumped the boiling water on my chest. And it hurts so bad. But worse than burning my flesh, it also just didn't work, as you can see. So my hair was nice and shiny before, and now it's floofy for no reason. Now you may be wondering, since when do you have straight hair? Unfortunately, I chemically straightened it a few times, and it just never went back. So my hair used to be so curly and nice, and now I just don't know how to handle it because since I grew up having curly hair, I know how to make curly hair look okay. Do not know how to make this look okay. Hopefully someday, hopefully someday it'll get back to how it was. Or maybe this is just my new hair, which I guess is okay. Usually it's fine, it's just since I, since I steamed it, it just got a little floofy. Is my spaghetti almost done? It's been in there for like two minutes. I have my spaghetti. It's just spaghetti and mozzarella and butter. I love mozzarella. I didn't used to like mozzarella because there's no flavor, you know? It's just like salt, salt cheese. But I've just been vibing with mozzarella lately. Mm. It's so good. You see this? This is what I'm talking about. The frizz. I don't know if it's breakage or new hair growth, but I've been really working on getting rid of my breakage, so. I'm hoping it's new hair growth. <laughs> I also cut my hair. And I did it by myself, so it's just boxy hair. But I could not live with the dead ends anymore, so I just chopped them all off. Like two inches of hair. Thank you for joining me for lunch. Well, second lunch. I had a whole can of lentil soup earlier, but I needed a second lunch because I was hungry. And the greatest part about this is that it's protein pasta. So there's protein in the pasta. I love that they're just putting protein in everything now. This is what we need. Because I don't like meat. I like, I like some proteins, I like beans, but big chunks of meat I just can't do unless it's fish. I love fish, I don't know why. It's very robust, but I do like it. I think maybe the texture. I can't do chicken ever. I have sworn off chicken. I know that's like the best thing you can eat, but I cannot do it anymore. And I used to really like beef, but right now I'm only enjoying beef when it's ground beef. Really chopped up ground beef. Like, you know when you put the ground beef in a pot, in a pan, oh my gosh. You know when you put the ground beef in a pan and then it comes those little, it becomes those little like, little morsels, beef morsels. That's what I like because you can hide it. You can hide it in the food and then you don't even know it's there. That's how I have to get my protein, is I have to trick myself. Cheese has some protein, and I love cheese, but 
it's not the greatest for me like my skin and tummy mostly my skin it just does not agree with so i try to limit my cheese not right now apparently but i usually try to limit my cheese but cheese is good protein especially if you can eat tons of it like i can since steaming my hair didn't work i think i'm gonna wash it today and to wash it, I need to oil it for a couple hours. So I'm gonna put some rosemary oil on my scalp. Do, 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 do. Then some argan oil on the ends. And then I just let it, let it sit for as long as I can bear to have oil, oil in my hair, which usually isn't long because I don't like the feeling of when oil gets on my skin. I don't like it in my hair. Ew. But I've been doing this for a few months now. And I'm hoping that it's doing something. It's supposed to grow the hair and uh, I guess make it healthier. Who knows? Who knows if it actually works or if it's just one of those fads. And then I gotta put it up because I don't want it on my skin. Yeah. Okay. Tell me this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life. She has no right being this darn cute. Don't mind the loud treadmill. I got this thing for like $20 and it's so loud, but it's a treadmill, so it does the job. I don't really know if anyone's gonna be watching this because I'm not planning on posting it anywhere just because I have gone dark on my social media. I've just been having a hard time emotionally handling everything. People are really mean. Um, I think this is the first time I've ever let it get to me. Like I've been doing this for a long time and I've never let any of the hate bother me, but it's just been so rough lately. So I was like, maybe I should just clear out my social media for a little bit and focus on making some videos and being more peaceful because it's been, it's been crazy lately. Anyway, I like vlogging, so I might be occasionally posting one of these word vomit vlogs where I'm just talking about stupid stuff. Um, so stay tuned and all that pizzazz. Anyway, bye.